Hi, I'm Dr. Danny, and I'm here in St. Petersburg, Florida at the American Integrative and Holistic Medicine Conference. In this video, I'm going to give you the key points for Dr. Daniel Friedland's lecture on the latest hot topics you need to know in integrative holistic medicine. So Dr. Daniel Friedland is a leader in evidence-based medicine and also a leader in evidence and science-based mind-body medicine focusing on brain science. So this year he had a big task to put together the 30 most relevant and most important studies coming out of the medical research in respect to our specialty of integrative medicine, meaning natural evidence-based medicine. So in this video, I'm going to give you a few of the key points from his lecture that you can start using in your own life today to start feeling better. The first study I'm going to tell you about is a study done in mice. So they took a bunch of mice, and these were mice that were obese, and what they did is they transplanted the gut microbacteria. Just like we have gut microbacteria in our digestive system, well, mice have the same thing. So they took that bacteria and they transplanted the bacteria from their gut into the healthy mice that were not obese. And guess what happened? The non-obese healthy mice, when they had the gut bacteria transplant from the obese mice, they became obese. So what is this showing? Well, it's showing that the gut microbes in our gut are actually responsible for more than just digestion. They, they're responsible for our metabolism of food, for things like weight gain, um, difficulty losing weight, our mood. Over 90% of serotonin, our happy hormone, lives in our gut. So that was a big one this year. The second study involved relaxation recordings and gene expression. So they had people listen to a relaxation recording CD for 15 minutes and they also had a control group where the people listened to a health recording just like a health education recording but not a relaxation recording and then they measured the genes that were expressed before and after in each of the groups guess what the people who listened to the guided relaxation recording for just 15 minutes they actually upregulated their good genes and down-regulated their bad genes. Okay, well, what do I mean by that? Well, they up-regulated the genes for energy metabolism, good mitochondrial function, insulin secretion, so helping you with managing blood sugar, and also for telomere maintenance. That means the length of the things on the end of your cells that tell you how long you're gonna live. And they down-regulated the genes for stress and inflammation. This was just after listening to a 15-minute meditation recording. The people who just got the general health recording didn't have any of those benefits. So guys, you can actually change your genes just in 15 minutes by listening to a guided meditation recording. And last but not least, I'm going to tell you about a study with IBS and functional digestive disorders and what happens when you eat gluten. So there's a new research study with something called zonulin. Zonulin is the thing that is secreted by your, your gut um, in response to invasion from bacteria and also in response to, guess what, gluten. What this zonulin thing does is it opens up those tight junctions in between your cells and it makes your gut more permeable. It leads to leaky gut syndrome. So when you have a leaky gut, you are more allergenic, um, inflammatory molecules can get in and cause a number of problems in your gut. So like IBS, functional digestive problems, chronic diarrhea, constipation, and it can even affect things like your mood because as I said to you in the first point, over 90% of your serotonin is in your gut. So this zonulin thing that we have in our gut naturally Gliadin in gluten from gluten grains can actually trigger this to be released, making your gut leakier. So this is one more reason to really try to minimize gluten grains and instead go for the non-gluten gluten whole grains instead. So brown rice, quinoa, and millet are my favorites. Okay, so that's the wrap up from Dr. Daniel Friedland's Hot Topics in Integrated Medicine lecture, and I'll see you again in the next video.